I really don't like how these tests look like because there's a lot of duplication in here. And I want to get rid of that. Honestly, I think that um, we could use a mocking framework at this point to really help us clean up the stuff. Not because I'm much into uh, mocking frameworks and think that they're much better than doing manual stuff, but they can just help us to avoid unnecessary code um, because they just, they just do some stuff for us that we don't have to concern ourselves with. So let's see what happens if I introduce a mocking framework. Open the POM file, go to dependencies and... Huh. Open the POM file, eventually go to dependencies, uh, do an add and search for Mokito. Mokito, what is it all I think is the name? Yes, org Mokito, Mokito all. This is going to be a test dependency. Add and save. This should resolve that issue. So we should now have Mokito on our dependency list. Fine, so let's see what Mokito can do for us. Let's introduce or re-implement rather the tests we have here. Does nothing if game is not running Mokito. So my test game is going to be a mock. So we have new or we rather we have mock um, game class, which is going to be my test game. And I want this to be a game of test input like before. Now I get a problem with warnings because of the generic parameter. There is an unchecked cast. So I'm going to for now add a suppress uh, unchecked to this method. We'll see later how we can get rid of that problem, which is quite common with Mokito. Anyways, I mocked the game and I want the game to return values for the running. So I say when test game is running is called, then return. Uh, this only works if I import the when. Uh, then return first value, oh no, false actually. That's a value we want to return in this test, like down here. Okay, this wasn't too hard, right? And then I want to mock the input handler. Assign that input handler test input handler. Again, we have the same game here with the generic parameter, um, test input handler, this is that one, and then we want to have the test timer, right? Mock timer class, going to assign that to test timer. And then I'm going to create the game loop. I have to remember to really instantiate that one, because if I mock that too, tests become rather senseless, right? Um, might sound stupid to you, but there's actually people doing that. And it even happened to me once or twice uh, during my studies that I ended up with tests that did not test anything anymore because I mocked everything and every little last piece of it till there was nothing left was, that was actually real code. So keep in mind, uh, when you use mocks, don't get into the mock rush and replace everything by mocks because obviously that makes tests kind of senseless. Okay. So unit under test is instantiated, unit under test is run, and 
Now I want to, want to verify that update on the test game is called exactly never. How am I going to do that? I'm going to use the verify method of Mokito and say verify that on the test game never is a nice helper was a call to update with any instance of test input which essentially means that this was never called why is that not working Mokito, Mokito, and I want to have matches. Doesn't that work this way? Matches from Mokito. This one I want to have. And now I have an any here from Mokito, which is test input class probably working like a charm. Okay, sorry for that one. So I got the verification that on test game, there was never a call to update with any instance of test input. That's exactly what the test down here is doing. So we can run that. It's working. So I'm going to throw out this test. And I'm going to remove this suffix I added here. Okay, so let's look at the next test. Test public void invokes one update if game is running Mokito. Now I could repeat the stuff, but I'm not going to repeat the stuff. Um, instead, I'm going to the same to do the same thing I did once before. I'm going to introduce a, a, a before method, a setup method to do this stuff. Only this time, since I'm using mocks, I can modify the behavior of these mocks in the tests. Um, although I created the instances before the tests. And that's what's going to help me um, keep the tests cleaned up. So I'm going to modify, convert this into field. Yes, yeah, I'm satisfied with the name so I can move this up here import the before should be working rerun test still working I'm going to convert this one into a field yes yes move it up here execute still working I'm going to do the same thing with a timer convert to fields Yes, move that up here. Um, this is going to stay here, but this can also uh, be converted to a field now. Local variable and move it up here should still be running. Okay, now I have to move the unchecked also up here to the setup method. Test is much easier to read. There's one value going to be returned by running, which is false. When I run the game loop, there should never be a call to update with any instance of test input. Okay, so now for the next test. What's the difference? It's going to return true false. So when test game is running, then return true false. We can actually use the same syntax here as we introduced manually, uh, just sequencing many values will show that one after the other is returned unit under test run and verify that test game i think there's a once method somewhere um i could say times one but that's a default uh, behavior so i'm going to skip that and say um, 
update was called with any instance of, I can't even say any, that's nice. Don't even have to specify that this is a test input. Rerun, oh, this test is not working. Question is, why is it not working? Because of the timing behavior, of course. Um, we see here that is running has been invoked, render has been invoked, uh, is running has been invoked again. So the, the repetition of the loop actually worked, but update was not invoked because I have no default timing behavior right now. So I'm going to introduce the, t the default timing behavior we've seen before by saying when test timer dot um, get current time, then return zero um, going to add a static import here real quick. Import static game loop. Frame duration. Say this is going to be frame duration. This is going to be two times frame duration. This is going to three times frame duration. Um, I know I had four times down there, but probably three times is enough. Let's see, now the test is running. Okay, I'm fine with that. This test repeats this one down here, so I'm going to delete the lower one, rename, rerun, working. Okay, for the next test. Let's write public void invokes update as long as game is running Mokito. Say we have the test game, we have the input handler, we have the timer, we have the game loop. So everything we want is to say when test game is running, then return true, 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 false. Run the game loop and verify that test game times three, to import that one, test game times three, so three times we had an invocation to update with any parameter. Does that work? It does work. So I'm going to remove that test, remove the suffix, re-execute the test still working. Okay.